Now you're going to learn how to create a closed loop loft. You'll also learn how to control the location of connection points on circular profiles. Start by creating a new part file. And then create a sketch on the top plane. Draw a line from the origin to the right. And then draw a circle on the end of the line. Change the line to a construction line and then set the diameter of the circle to one inch. Now make the length of the construction line five inches. When you're finished, close the sketch. Now create a sketch on the right plane. Draw a line upward and then draw a circle on the end of the line. Set the length of the line to three inches and then set the diameter of the circle to two inches. Change the line to a construction line and then close the sketch. Now create another sketch on the top plane. Draw a horizontal line from the origin to the left and then draw a circle on the end of the line. Change the line to a construction line and then set the length of the line to four inches. Set the diameter of the circle to three inches and then close the sketch. We're going to create a loft that starts on the small circle, passes through the middle circle, and then ends on the larger circle. When we select these profiles, we'll also be selecting the location of connecting curves. So keep this in mind. Open the loft command, and then select the smallest circle. Select the middle circle, and then select the largest circle. The connection points on your computer will probably be different than the connection points that you see here because the location of your selections will be different. As you can see from the connection points, this loft operation will not produce a symmetrical feature. In fact, the asymmetry of the feature is significantly pronounced when you create a closed loop. Check the closed loft option. And you can see that the portion closing the loop is not symmetrical. You can try to drag the connection point so that the feature is more symmetrical. But a better way to control this is to split the circles. Exit the command and I'll show you how to do this. Edit sketch one. And then set the view to a normal view. Now right click on the circle and then select split entities. Select the node on this quadrant and then select the node on the opposite side. Now right click and select OK. The circle has been split into two half circles but we need to control the location of the ends of the arcs. Select this node in the construction line and then add a coincident relation. Now select this node in the line and then add a coincident relation to these entities. Once you've done that, the sketch should be fully defined. Close the sketch and then edit sketch two.
Split the circle. And then constrain the ends of the arcs. Once you've done that, close the sketch and then edit sketch 3. Split the circle Constrain the ends and then close the sketch. Open the loft command and then select all the profiles at the same relative location. Now you can see that the connection curves are symmetrical so you can expect that the feature will be symmetrical. You may be compelled to select the first profile again to create a closed loop, but as you saw earlier you need to check the close loft option to close it. Now you can see that the loft is symmetrical. Type the enter key to apply this operation. Once you've done that, save the file under the name Closed Loop Loft.